We quickly cut across to Faiz, Fayaz Ismail, Maldives opposition leader who joins us live from Mali. Fayaz, thanks very much for speaking to India today. Uh, clearly, as we see here, the one comment that one of the ruling government's minister has made has really sparked off a diplomatic war between the two countries. Uh, unprovoked, unnecessary. You had Prime Minister Modi visiting Lakshadweep, an Indian island, praising it as should be as the Indian Prime Minister. Uh, it sparked off such a debate with M Maldives citizens going on a complete offensive and taking, uh, you know, going upset over the fact that uh, we are praising our own Indian island. Do you believe as an opposition leader this was uncalled for? Uh, uh, this is a very unfortunate uh, incident uh, uh, created by uh, real clowns here in the Maldives, I would say. And also let me tell you that I would love to visit, uh, visit the Lakshadweep. Um, in fact, uh, we see this as uh, complementary to the Maldives and which we could harness for the benefit of both countries. We do not uh, have any problem with uh, the promotion of Lakshadweep as a tourist destination. In fact, uh, our party uh, and the, most of the Maldivian tourism industry would in fact love to assist uh, the Indian community on from whatever uh, experience that we have in this industry. These clowns have uh, basically, uh, I don't know what to say, and uh, uh, from our party on behalf of the Maldivian people, I do apologize. Uh, this has been a very unfortunate incident, and uh, you know these days with the social media, there's no control over it. Uh, it is very unfortunate that these people were government officials. But let me correct you, these are not ministers in the uh, government, but uh, deputy ministers who are social activists, uh, social media activists who campaigned for the current president and they were rewarded with these uh, positions which has unfortunately uh, put us into this position. No, Fayaz, uh, tell us a little more on the way the government of Maldives has handled it. We know that n Indians now, very emotional about what has happened, have gone on uh, a cancellation spree. Many of them cancelling their bookings to Maldives post uh, undue, unnecessary criticism coming in from Maldive ministers. Uh, so the kind of revenue that India generates for you in the tourism sector, uh, how do you think that your country will take a beating now? Well, well, let me tell you, um, we have a significant arrivals from India. We have a very good uh, Indian uh, travel market here, and it will definitely impact our tourism industry. But that is not uh, my main concern here. We can always uh, 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 compensate for that somehow. But obviously, this is something, as you said, completely unnecessarily uh, uh, damaged to the industry. But my main concern is the relationship that we have with India. We have had this relationship with India for time immemorial. And uh, today in this uh, world of social media, the issue is now beyond a diplomatic role. Now this issue has been taken by the citizens of India. And unfortunately, uh, it has a negative impact on our side as well. So that is my worry, that this will have a, a lasting impact between our peoples, which, mm. is, which is very, very sad and very unfortunate. And this is not only about the social harmony between our two nations, but this will also allow uh, players to try to create havoc within the Indian Ocean region. Uh, the stability, the security and peace of this region is of paramount importance to the Maldives. It's not only to India. So the, the remarks by these clowns is, is completely uncalled for. And I personally do not believe that that is that this was instigated by the government, but but simply these people. Uh, but it's, it's, the, up, it's, uh, the gov run. it's the ministers under the government, deputy ministers under the government, who said what they've said. It's it's not a regular common citizen. So exactly that is that is why this is a problem, and I'm 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 very unhappy that the government is very slow to uh, act on this. Ob obviously, they have uh, suspended these people, but that is too little, too late. I hope that the government will have a robust, uh, prompt uh, uh, action on this by removing these people from, from these positions. Uh, this is not the view of the Maldives, and I do not believe that this is also the view of the government. So I hope that they will, uh, they will not uh, put into jeopardy 
the uh, relationship uh, between India and Maldives over these few social media activists who currently, unfortunately, hold these positions in the government. Right. A final word uh, from you. We'd like to hear if at all uh, Indians are currently holidaying in Maldives and or are pa planning a trip in the near future. Do you believe that there's uh, no issue uh, as such? There's, uh, we're hoping there's no anti-India sentiment and our tourists there are safe. Would you want to give no, a word of assurance? No, com you're completely safe, safe. I mean, these are basically, you, you see, a couple of, if you look at the... Uh, uh, the the threats of this social media uh, that the people who have said that these are very uh, uh, very um, difficult people uh, who has unfortunately been given these positions and the entire Maldives is uh, in uproar over these people and uh, the slowness of the government to act right. on this. Indians are completely safe and Indians are mostly welcome here, but I we do understand the the, the emotions of the Indian population on this. I hope that we will be able to. Uh, put this behind us soon, and I hope that uh, SENA voices within our countries, within our governments, will prevail over this. And hopefully, I, I, I look forward to to this uh, to put this behind us as soon as possible. We, we hope so too. Thanks very much, uh, Fires, for joining us on. Thank this. you.